There are only two ways you can imagine worlds, in 2D or 3D. While 2D can create amazing art, only with 3D can you truly capture reality in an immersive way. 3D worlds can be vast and diverse in every possible way you can imagine. Think of Minecraft, Red Dead Redemption, open world games, fantasy games, and more. All these start as simple polygons fused together to create vast, expansive worlds. And we have all the tools to create them inside Blender. Have you ever wanted to bring your wildest dreams to life? To build realms that exist only in your imagination, where fantastical creatures roam and the landscapes defy the laws of physics? With Blender, creating entire fantasy worlds is not only possible, but also exhilarating. Let's explore how you can leverage the power of Blender to craft unique, captivating fantasy settings. When it comes to building worlds in 3D, there is no definitive order to follow. Most of the time, you are doing research and development R&D for your project, working on problems as they arise. However, a simple guideline would be to start by creating a concept and a story, then collect assets, models, textures, materials, and any motion libraries you plan to use. Afterward, you can start assembling everything like Lego bricks. Unfortunately, it rarely works out in this exact order due to a number of factors, including budgets, time constraints, and computers not being as powerful as you expected. This might force you to cut down your story or use different assets. So don't focus too much on the order, just keep the important things in mind. The first step in building a fantasy world is developing a strong concept. While imagining your world, you should also keep in mind the limitations of your computer and 3D programs if you plan to render your world. You can also look for workarounds or tricks that make it possible to create these worlds. For example, if you are creating a magical forest, you don't have to make every tree detailed. You can create custom trees with add-ons like any tree, which allows you to customize tree styles and shapes procedurally with amazing detail and control. But not every tree will need that level of detail. For far away trees, you can use something like alpha trees, which is textures on a plane. They render fast and you can instance millions of them without your computer even noticing. Most of the time when trying to bring any project to life, you are not limited by your skills. You are limited by the ability to find the right tools. Blender is a great tool, but like any other 3D application, Unreal Engine, Maya, Cinema 4D, it can't work alone. You need to complement them with additional tools like plugins, add-ons, and libraries to work efficiently. This does not mean the program can't do what you need it to. Rather, using plugins and add-ons is a way to take shortcuts. Instead of clicking 100 buttons to create something, you are clicking one or two. This is true even for more advanced programs like Houdini, Maya, and others. Once you understand this, you'll easily start and finish projects before deadlines. Once you have a clear idea, begin blocking out the major elements of your world. In Blender, you can use basic geometry or tools like geometry nodes to create the broad strokes of your landscape. Focus on the major landmarks, mountains, rivers, forests, and buildings. This phase is all about shaping the general feel of the environment. Add-ons like True Terrain can be extremely versatile for making custom terrains, with the ability to add roads and rivers with curves. Using tools like this is like hitting the ground running, as UV mapping, scattering, and materials and textures are all set up for you. For fantasy worlds, don't shy away from exaggeration. Let mountains rise impossibly high and trees twist in unnatural ways. This is where you can let your creativity take over, embracing the surreal elements that make fantasy so captivating. The look of your world depends on how you craft it and what assets you use. There's a big difference between realistic worlds and fantasy worlds, normally referred to as NPR renders, non-photorealistic renders. When choosing assets like trees, mountains, grass, or rocks, selecting the right style of asset is key to maintaining a consistent visual look. For example, the True Terrain add-on is great for creating realistic environments, but other add-ons and tools like Terranode identifiers are dedicated to stylized assets. You can use it for both realistic and stylized terrains. There's also the Stylized Terrain and Mountain Library Terra Paint, a collection of around 500 mountains, terrains, stylized rocks, cliffs, and more, which come with ready textures and materials. If you made the assets yourself, you'll need to texture them as well. Sometimes you may need to retexture or retouch models you've downloaded from other places just to ensure they blend with each other or with the assets you've created. This can be time consuming, but add-ons like Smartify nodes can make blending and mixing materials, textures, and assets much easier. The add-on uses the topology of the mesh to add weather effects like dirt, dust collecting in corners and crevices, snow, moss, and more. 
it's impossible to exhaust all the ways you can make your textures and materials fit the style you are envisioning. Sometimes it's better to start with ready-made materials and shaders created by one artist so they all have the same style. You can try libraries like Sankus Library, which comes with procedural materials, textures, and assets for both realistic and stylized, or non-realistic, renders. The library is constantly updated with materials in different categories like water, metals, tiles, and more. If these still don't fit your style, you can try the Kamikaze Tune Shaders and Assets Pack, which includes over 200 modifiers, shaders, and compositor effects to enhance your style. They can be used for manga, anime, or Spider-Verse-like styles. A fantasy world isn't complete without life. Populate your environment with fantastical creatures, insects, and perhaps even magical artifacts. Blender's particle system can be used to scatter elements like flowers, grass, or even glowing mushrooms across your scene. For creatures, you can use rigged models and animate them to bring liveliness to your setting, or borrow some from Insect Swarm. This library comes with animated critters like centipedes, flies, bees, and more with particle systems and behaviors that help them fly as a swarm or a flock with object avoidance and pathfinding. If you're into zombies, maybe the A Horde add-on, a procedural tool for creating zombie hordes, could be useful. Lighting is one of the most important aspects of creating a fantasy world. Use it to enhance the mood you've envisioned. Area lights are great for creating soft, natural lighting, while spotlights can highlight specific elements to add drama. Consider using volumetrics for misty woods or light rays peeking through enchanted forests. In fantasy worlds, light itself can be a character. Play with colored lights, deep purples, ethereal blues, or warm golds to create a magical atmosphere. For exterior scenes where the sky is visible, add-ons like Physical Starlight will provide better detail and results than the built-in sky texture. This tool offers animated clouds, daytime and nighttime cycles, atmospheric fog, and more, all in one package. Adding magical effects to truly make your fantasy world feel magical. Add effects that make it otherworldly. Blender's particle systems and simulations are perfect for creating a like sparkling dust, matched magical auras, or flowing energy fields. Using geometry nodes, you can create animated procedural effects that add dynamic elements to your scene. If that feels like too much effort, try the True VDB Magic Pack, which offers magical volumes that you can easily integrate into your scene. Consider creating magical portals, enchanted waterfalls, or even animated spells that interact with the environment. These elements help bring your world to life, immersing viewers in a realm far beyond reality. Finally, it's time to bring all of your hard work together. Blender's Cycles or EV Render Engines can be used to render your fantasy world, each offering different strengths. If you need faster renders, EV is ideal for real-time performance, while Cycles provides more realistic lighting. Building fantasy worlds in Blender is about pushing the boundaries of your imagination. It involves combining technical skills with creative storytelling to produce places that others want to explore. With the right tools and techniques, there are no limits to the types of worlds you can create. So, open Blender and start building your own fantasy universe today.